Put a finger down if you decided to move to the US from Australia in 2017 to start a business with your husband and end up having two kids there. Then COVID happens and you don't see your family for two years and no one sees your daughter for her whole life. So you decide to move back to Australia, but first stopping in Argentina for two months because that's where your husband's family is from. And then when you get to Argentina, you're so happy visiting family, but then when you try to book flights back to Australia, there's nothing available. So you extend your trip for another month. Then you try to book flights again to Australia. Then your husband decides to check if his permanent residency to Australia is valid and realizes it is not. So you can't book flights as he has to apply for his permanent residency renewal again. Now it's been six months in Argentina when originally you only wanted to stay there two months. So you tell your husband you'll go to Australia first and he can meet you there. You book flights from Buenos Aires to Dallas, then Dallas to Sydney. Then on the day of your flight, you get an email saying your tourist visa to the US has been canceled and you're left homeless because you already packed up and checked out of your Airbnb. So you cry so hard, but get your shit together and find somewhere for your family or four to live and you move to a new apartment in Buenos Aires. Then at the end of April, after spending nearly eight months in Argentina, you try to fly out again, but this time you go through Dubai. You are able to fly to Dubai and have a fun little holiday with your family, but your husband still hasn't gotten his permanent residency visa. So you fly 12 hours with the kids alone from Dubai to Sydney and your daughter gets motion sickness and vomit six times on the flight. Then your son starts vomiting and it's just you by yourself. Then when you get to Sydney airport, you ask a staff member to help you with your trolley with three luggages and a double stroller with two kids, but they end up disappearing. So you have to push the luggages and stroller by yourself until a good Samaritan comes to help you get out of the airport. Then you finally arrive and are so happy to be in Sydney with your family after nearly three years of being away. Then your husband finally gets his visa with the help of TikTok suggestions and he gets here. Then you and your whole family get sick for the last four weeks with RSV and bronchitis, but you're finally in Australia. So you should just be happy and grateful that you made it back after all this time.